Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to take images and create an HDR image from them. And HDR images are when you have um, three or two, two or three, typically three images. Um, you have a middle one, dark one, and then a super exposed one. Um, this one actually has like a super exposed, so I don't think I'll use any parts of these of this one. So I'm just going to use these two for the sake of the video. So the point of this is uh, you have to create an image that has a high dynamic range, which is what HDR stands for. And so what you need is, in this case, you want, uh, you don't want to see these trees being too dark, but it's impossible to take a photo of the sky being as dark as it is in this image and the trees being as light as it is in this image. So what we're doing is we're taking a uh, high dynamic range. So what that means is we're taking the sky from this image and uh, the exposure of the sky and then the exposure of the trees in this image. So I'm gonna take these two images and then import them into GIMP. So uh, here we have the brighter exposed and this is the darker exposed. So I'm gonna drag the darker one into the lighter one by hovering over and then dragging it in. And then I can just close out of this one. So now we have these two right here. And so if we hide this one, you can see that there's actually nothing happening. Right now we're seeing the darker one, right now we're seeing the lighter one. So we need to create um, a filter through this, a mask. All right, so we click down here, and click on grayscale copy of layer, hit add. So now what's happening is we are taking, so you can see if I, if I get rid of this whole layer, you can see that the sky is what's changing. And a lot of times you will want to change some stuff because this is GIMP doing it for you. It is doing what it thinks that is best. Make sure you're in this layer here and you do the paintbrush over here and then hit change the size if you want. And you can just paintbrush over this. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit, it's taking a little bit more from the underexposed image uh, compared to the uh, overexposed one. And so as you can see, even these trees over here are a little bit too exposed. So I'm just going to paint over them a little bit, but Sometimes what you have to do is you have to make it um, have a little bit less hardness so that and a little less force as well so that it can blend in nicely with the rest of the image because it's annoying when you see the stripes, right? You can see exactly what I'm, I'm doing here. So you don't want to be able to see that. So, okay, that looks... Let me see if those trees are getting a little bit messed up. Um, I think this looks good, right? This is okay for the sake of this video. Um, and then over here, you can see that there's a little bit of sunlight getting in. So we can actually use this just gently. We have the force pretty low. I might actually want it a little bit higher, but we want this. So we're on these pink trees as well. And down. And take the sun on the pool cover here. Um, and I try not to get out of these bushes, but it's kind of hard to. I'm just going to undo most of that. Okay, get the trees again. Try to use multiple strokes because it, sometimes it doesn't work how you want it to. And this looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, down here we need some. Okay, so that looks pretty good for, for now. Um, and so now, click on the bottom layer, and if you want, you can go to Colors and Curves. And so we can actually just change more of this image by changing the curves of it, making it a little bit more vibrant. And if you don't know how to use curves, that's completely fine. You don't actually need it to make an HDR image. We already have the HDR image, um, but I'm just editing what it looks like now. So um, what curves are is it's just changing in the... Basically, if you think about it for the simplest form, you're just changing the brightness of the different parts of the image. So there's, right up here, we have uh, the darkness parts of the image, which are called shadows, and the mid-range ones, and then uh, the highlights, which are the light parts. So if you, if you can see, the parts that are bright in the image are changing. And then in this one, the dark parts are what, are what change. So you can have some more contrast with this. Um, I think I need a little bit more less exposure down here. Just... Alright, so now I can just do file. File export. And so now you have this HDR image. 
So you can use this for anything now. It's just like any other image, but it has a higher dynamic range than the original ones, which were this bright one and then this, this original one, right? Because what we were doing is that we took the dark sky from this one and the light trees from this one and combined them. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.